Hello, welcome to another tutorial. This is kind of an update from a previous video that I posted a little while back. Uh, the video was showing you how to create a remote opening garage door using the RF transmitter and receiver. Uh, one thing I did state in that video that I didn't know how to make it so that the garage door stayed open with one press and then closed with another press. Uh, thankfully somebody in the comments section on that video uh, said to use a memory cell so I did a bit of research and I've worked out how to do it now so yep let me show you. So first you want to place a splitter then you want to place your memory cell and electrical branch and then your RF receiver we'll do this as well now okay so they're paired the uh, receiver and transmitter are paired first thing you want to do is you want to run power to your splitter Then from the splitter you need to run power to your memory cell. You then need to run power from the splitter to your RF receiver. And then power out goes into toggle on the memory cell. Output, the right hand output goes to power in on the electrical branch. Place our door controller. Unlock the door. Pair with the door. and connect that up to the door controller. Now also, I'm gonna, I haven't used these yet, the uh, speakers. So I'm gonna place a speaker on the floor like so, and I'm gonna use the other output from the electrical branch, connect that to the speaker. And now if everything is wired up correctly, when I press the button on the transmitter, door will open and you get an audio alarm from the speaker. Door stays open uh, indefinitely until you press the button again and then it closes. And combining that simple technique you can create something like this. three hundred and sixty degree cover you can put it inside your compound or just outside your main gates 